students today we will discuss a new topic of vector called cross product or you can say vector product why vector product because a cross b is a vector quantity and why cross product because we are using this cross as a operator now the formula of a cross b is magnitude of a magnitude of b and sin theta theta is angle between them as you can see in diagram a and vector b angle is theta and this is eta eta represents the direction of a cross b now theta lie between 0 to pi one thing more what is the direction of theta when we take a cross b the direction of a cross b will be perpendicular to the both the vectors or perpendicular to the plane which contain a b you can find by screw rule when you turn a screw like this a cross b it will come out therefore direction of a cross a will be outwards and when we like this turn a screw by this method b cross a then it will go inside therefore direction will be inward now take magnitude of a cross b magnitude a copy b copy sin theta copy eta will go out because magnitude of eta is 1 unit vector now we divide both the equations this upon this we get eta is equal to a cross b upon mod a cross b this is very important formula whenever you have to find a unit vector which is perpendicular to both the vectors a and b we have this formula now i cross i j cross j k cross i will be 0 because angle between them is 0 and we know sin 0 is 0 i cross j will be k because i we have k vector which is normal to both the vector i and j you can find like this i cross j means k j cross k means i and k cross i means j or if we revert this process in clockwise direction we will get minus psi now a cross b is equal to minus b cross a because their direction are opposite now what the geometric meaning of cross product that is area of parallelogram if adjacent sides of a parallelogram are a and b then this represents area of parallelogram. Now area of triangle is just half. You can just divide into two parts. Half A cross B. And one thing is more. If A cross B is 0. Then either A is equal to 0. Or B is equal to 0. Or A is parallel to B. So this is the cross product. 